in a sea of bills? Then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contestant. I'm Kieran. I'm in debt because in the past year, I bought a new car and had a baby. I'm Glenn, and I'm in debt because I charge equipment to start my career as a director. I'm Connie, and I'm in debt because I've been trying to get my jewelry business off the ground. And now, starting at host, the crown prince of credit, the Duke of Debt, Wayne Martindale. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. And welcome to our show. The country's in debt. You're probably in debt. But most importantly, our three players, Kira, Glenn, and Connie, have come to us with their real-life debt. And one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of this show. So let's get this party started, shall we? Our first round is general debt. And here are today's categories. Cannibals' favorite foods. Weeds we whack. First City Wink Bank. Really hairy guys. And finally, hey, I'm easy. <laughs> this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least debt at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Money! You got it. Kira, since you have spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our first category. But to make things fair, we're going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day, which is $8,198. Two final reminders before we start. All questions on debt take the I am, you are format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. Okay, Kira, select our first category. I'll take really hairy guys for minus 150, Wink. Okay, and here's your question. Players, that's not a wool vest. It's just my back. I'm the MASH film star who's now Ross and Monica's proud pop on Friends. Kira? You are Elliot Gould? That's correct for $150. Select. I'll take really hairy guys for minus 200. Loves those really hairy guys. On Cheers, I'm Carla's sleazy first husband, played by Dan Hedaya, who could keep all of Boston warm with his body hair. Glenn? You are Nick Tortelli. Wait. You got it for $200. Select. I'd like uh, First City Wing Bank for minus 100, please, Wing. Okay. And Here's the question. By the way, this category is about things you find at the bank. You did say minus 100, right? Yes. I'm an Olympic event you do with a pole and where the bank locks up loot. Glenn? You are a vault wing. You asked for it, you got the answer for $100. Select. I'll stay in the same category for minus 150, please. I'm the box you rent at the bank where you can store vital documents and hide your incriminating photos. Glenn? You are a safe deposit box. Wing. That is correct for 150. <laughs> I'll take First City Bank Bank for minus 200, please. I'm what smokers suffer when they quit and the term for pulling your wad out of a bank. Connie? You are withdrawal. That is it for $200 off your debt. Rick, I'll take, uh, I'm easy for minus 150. Here's the question. Answers in this category contain the word easy. I'm the 1989 sci-fi flick starring Jeff Goldblum where Julie Brown sings, cause I'm a blonde. Glenn? You are Earth Girls or Easy Wink. That's good for 150 bucks. <laughs> I'll take I'm easy for minus 200, please. Here's your question. I'm the Linda Ronstadt cover of a Buddy Holly hit that could be Liz Taylor's theme song. Connie? Uh, you are It's So Easy. That's correct. It's so easy to fall in love. Um, I'll take First City Wink Bank for minus 250, Wink. Players, I'm an acronym for a militant Irish organization and an account you can open to plan for your retirement. Glenn? You are IRA, Wink. That's it. 250 off your debt. I'll take really hairy guys for minus 250, please. Okay, and the question... Whoa! You did our detonator, the most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, this is worth $500. Very important question, listen carefully. I'm the long-haired, hairy-chested pop rocker who scored with 70s hits like I Just Wanna Stop. Fame is fleeting, isn't it? Gino Vanelli. Gino Vanelli. All right, Glenn, pick again, please. I'll take Weeds We Whack for minus 150, please, Wink. I'm a comic strip full of hicks and the dried up balls that blow down the street in a ghost town. Glenn? You are Tumbleweeds. Wink. That's it. Good for 150. I'll take Weeds We Whack for minus 200, please. I'm the weed that sounds like a lawn planted by Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Kira? You 
your seaweed, Wink. No, I'm sorry. Anybody else? <laughs> crabgrass. Crabgrass. Glenn, select. I'll take Weezy Whack for minus 250, please. I'm the metallic sounding movie where Meryl Streep depresses us by tying one on during the Great Depression. <laughs> Connie. You are Silkwood. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Glenn. You are weeds, Wink. No, I can't oh. accept that. Kira, have any idea? <laughs> no, the exact not. answer is ironweed. Ironweed. Glenn, <laughs> select. I'll get out of the weeds category and go to Cannibal's Favorite Foods for minus 150, please. Okay, the category is about things you eat that sound like human body parts. I'm a female flange and a type of small, thinly-shaped sponge cake. How about it, Glenn? You are a lady finger wing. That's it. You got it. <laughs> I'll take uh, same category, minus 200. I'm a type of hot dog that sounds like it belongs in a 12-inch shoe. Glenn? You are a foot-long wing. That is correct. $200 <laughs> off your debt. Less than two minutes remaining in general debt. I'll take Cannibal's Favorite Foods, minus 250, please. Players, although not actually edible, I sound like an item on a Cannibal's menu. I'm sandwich slang for a punch in the face. Kira? You're a club sandwich? No. Connie? You're a slap? No. Any idea, Glenn? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> club sandwich was close, but it was a knuckle sandwich. Or fist sandwich. Okay, Glenn, select again. I'll go to I'm Easy for minus 250, please. Players, I'm the 1985 pop hit by Philip Bailey and Phil Collins about a girl who didn't play hard to get. Glenn? You are easy lover, Wayne. Easy lover, yes. I'll take I'm Easy for minus 100, please. During Prohibition, I was the name of the place where you could suck down a pink lady or a Bloody Mary. Glenn. You are a speakeasy with That's me. it. I'll take really hairy guys for minus 100, please. I'm Kim Basinger's husband, and I look like I rubbed Rogaine all over my body. Connie. You are Alec Baldwin. You got it. I'll take Weeds We Wax for minus 100. After playing a prisoner in Weeds, I was sentenced to play Barbara Streisand's love interest in Prince of Tides. Connie. You are Nick Nolte. Yes, for $100. Uh, Cannibal's favorite food for minus 100. I'm the lovely bit of cartilage you hear through and what you'd call a piece of corn. Connie. You are an ear. Yes. Uh, Cannibal's favorite food for minus 50. Completing that category, I'm a type of macaroni and a part of your arm. Glenn. You are an elbow. Wing. Elbow, right. I'll take weeds we whack for minus 50. Completing the category, I'm the company that whacks your weeds with herbicide and I'm the dentist who puts braces on your teeth. Glenn. You are an ortho wing. Ortho is the answer. Okay, that's the end of general debt, and I'm sorry to say that you, Kira, have the highest score, and unfortunately, in our game, that means you are eliminated. But you won't go home empty-handed because Julie has this for you. Well, Kira, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Go put it in the bank. Well played, Connie. Congratulations. We'll be back to see Glenn and Connie battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this. What is reality? What is illusion? He's got a friend? He's invisible, and I can't see him. You're my best friend. Whoopi Goldberg, Gerard Depardieu, Focus, rated PG, starts Friday, September 6th. Creamy taste of Velveeta melting into every tender shell. Velveeta shells and cheese. It's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, sorry. Not just snack cake. Snack cake with a new attitude. Because taste is hot. That is not. Want a new twist on lemon? Pucker up. Sweet rewards. Desserts with an attitude. New from Betty Crocker. Miss Pillow's class put Elmer's No Run School Glue Gel to the test. It's in a class by itself. It's not many. White glue drips. This dries clear. Clean up's a breeze. Elmer's No Run School Glue Gel. Teacher tested, classroom approved. Line four, doctor. Many patients call about home pregnancy tests. Ask about new first response. Most doctors would recommend it. It's accurate, and now it's easier to read. Two lines pregnant, one not pregnant. Most doctors would recommend new first response. Good friends are honest. See, what's up with your brother? <laughs> Supportive. You're getting sucked. Smile and have dimples. Don't brown and have wrinkles. <laughs> Appreciative. Why are you in a sheet? 
have had it with you commenting on everything I wear. Tactful. Oh, oh you're discovering yourself. Like most girls do in their teens. And best friends are even worse. Click! I'm back. Hope and Gloria. Tonight at 7 on Lifetime. And now, let's get deeper into debt with Wink Martindale. Welcome back, everybody. We're down to two players on debt. Glenn's in the lead with minus $6,648. Connie has minus $7,998. That's quite a spread, a difference of $1,350. But believe me, Connie, we've seen things change in a hurry here. And I'm sure watching the show, you've seen the same thing. So the game's up for grabs. I'll leave it at that. At the end of this round, one of you, the one with the least debt remaining, will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt. A wonderful thought. Yes. But first, we're going to play gambling debt. Now, in this round, I'm going to show you a category. And then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values increase throughout that round. $300 will be at stake in our first category, and that is Drink Me. Drink Me. This category is about popular beverages. All right, since you're behind, Connie, we'll let you start the bidding. Four. I can answer four. Okay, Glenn, you want to go for five? I'll let you prove it, Connie. He says prove it, Connie. Four out of five of these will take $300 off your debt. I'm the creamy white liquid that does a body good. You are milk. That's correct. <laughs> what else would be white that does the body good? I'm the thirst quenching company who reminds us that life is a sport. Drink it up. You are Gatorade. Yes. Good guess. I'm the fruity company that wants you to crave the wave. You are ocean spray. Yes. That's three. One to go for the money. I'm the soda you've got if you've got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. You are Pepsi. Connie, can you be more specific, please? You are Diet Pepsi. You got it. That gives you the $300. $300 off your debt. Let's move on to our next category worth $400. Builders and building blocks. This category is about architects and children's building toys. Connie, start the bidding, please. I can name three. Glenn? I can name four. I can Connie? answer four of those. Words. Prove it! She says prove it, Glenn. Four out of five will give you $400 off your debt. Builders and building blocks. Named after a president, I'm the wood toy pieces that kids can use to build a cabin. You are Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs, yes. Two, I'm the actor who played architect Mike Brady in the TV version of The Brady Bunch. Robert Reed. Remember Robert Reed? You still have three left. You need all three of them for the money. I'm the play school set of brightly colored sticks and wooden circles that your little stinker loves to build with. Tinker oh. Toys. Connie gets the money. $400 off her debt. Tinker Toys. I thought you had that one, Glenn. <laughs> it's easy for me to say, all right? I got the questions and the answers. OK, $500 on this next category, which is Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Connie, start the bidding, please. I can answer four. Glenn? I'm going to let Connie prove it. He says prove it, Connie. Four out of five will give you $500 off your debt, make our score much closer. I'm the actor who became a star thanks to my portrayal of the monster in the 1931 flick Frankenstein. You are Boris Karloff. Yes. That's one, three to go for the money. I'm the 1935 movie where the woman of Frankie's dreams is sewn together from spare body parts. You are the bride of Frankenstein. That's two. Two to go for $500. I'm the 1974 Mel Brooks spoof of the Lughead's life. Um, you are... Time's up. Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. If you get both of these, you get the money. If you don't, Glenn gets it taken off his debt. I'm the 60s sitcom that featured Fred Gwynn as a lovable Frankenstein-esque monster. You are the Munsters. That's correct. One more to go for $500. I'm the horror actor from the 60s and 70s who played the doctor in Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed. You are scary. No, Peter Cushing. Glenn gets the money off his debt, $500. Peter Cushing. Okay. Connie, this is a must-win situation for you. If you don't get this category, 
then you will be mathematically eliminated, and of course, Glenn will win the game. Category's worth $750, and it is, that's all folk singers. That's all folk singers. Glenn, start the bidding. I can answer three of those. Connie, that's all folk singers. I can answer four. Glenn, she says. Prove it. All right, Connie, four out of five of these will keep you alive in the game. Anything short of four out of five, Glenn wins the game. Understand? Yes. Number one. I pumped out folk songs like This Land is Your Land and folk singers like my son Arlo. You are Guthrie. That is correct. Woody Guthrie. <laughs> Number two. I'm Harry Chapin's depressing chart-topping song about a father and son that's so good you'll jump off a bridge. <laughs> that title is Cats in the Cradle. Ugh. Cats in the Cradle. You need all three of these now to stay alive. I'm the grandma of folk who sang of peace, love, and the night they drove old Dixie down. You are... Joan Baez, Glenn wins the game. It just wouldn't come to you, would it? Joan Baez. Glenn, that means you're going on to the final round with a chance to have us pay off everything you owe. Right. And you, Connie, will go home with this. Julie? Well, Connie, you may have lost, but you're certainly no loser because you will receive one of our debt piggy banks along with a $500 savings bond. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, Connie came close to a ninth inning comeback there. You got closer and closer, but folk singers gave you a problem. Joan Baez wouldn't come to you, would it? Go for it, but I didn't, it wasn't a strong category. Have you ever for bought me. one of her records? Okay, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Nice to meet you. Glenn, congratulations to you. Well played. We'll be back to see if Glenn can move out of the red and into the black right after we take this commercial break. Don't go away, everybody. you down while there's help in sight. If you'd like to be a contestant on debt and you live in the L.A. area, call 213-468-3300. We asked people to try a nutritious new pasta dish. It's very good. It's the spot. Mm, this is wonderful. Nice herbs and spices. What is it? It's Hamburger Helper's new Italian herb. Hamburger Helper? That's Hamburger Helper? I'm surprised. Under 325 calories per serving. I'm a calorie counter. No preservatives. No preservatives? This is new then. New Italian herb. One of three new flavors of Hamburger Helper. I'm impressed. I think I'll put it in my shopping cart. How about some more? Makes a real good, feel good deal. Why? Can you say please? Please. Okay. Arthritis. Imagine if you could relieve your minor arthritis pain so effectively, it almost feels like you've gone back in time to the days before you had arthritis. Try Capsaicin P, a remarkable cream with the topical analgesic ingredient doctors recommend most for arthritis pain. Capsaicin P builds effectiveness until it reaches peak pain relief power. And when the pain is gone, it's almost like you've gone back in time. Get order-free Capsaicin P with the ingredient doctors recommend most. CLR dissolves lime. CLR dissolves calcium. CLR unclogs shower heads. CLR cleans rust stains. CLR cleans hard water stains. CLR does the impossible. CLR, the product guaranteed to be the best household cleaner you've ever used or you get your money back. CLR is available at Walgreens, Ace, Winn-Dixie, Eckert, Kmart, True Value, Kroger, and leading stores everywhere. True blue taste, wish for bright, real blue cheese in every bite. Take a peek, take a pour, you're looking at what you're looking for. Taste the colors, taste the colors. Wish for world's most colorful taste. The biggest comedy of the summer is only on video. Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Yeah, yeah. Critics agree. The magic is back thanks to Robin Williams. Give me that big light. Get your copy and celebrate Labor Day weekend with Disney's Aladdin and the King of Thieves on video. On sale everywhere. A lifetime intimate portrait. He was born into the glamour, the fame, the American dream. The adorable boy who captured our hearts and became the sexiest man alive. Blessed and burdened, John Kennedy Jr. is America's Prince Charming. That was this incredible glare of public interest for John. What are his dreams and desires? What does his future hold? Intimate portrait, John Kennedy Jr. Sunday at 10 p.m. on Lifetime. Television for women.
Watch what every baby knows. Weekday mornings at 8 and Sunday mornings at 10. And we're back to see if Glenn can get out of debt with the help of our main man, Wink. Welcome back to debt, everybody. He did well, didn't he? Glenn played the first two rounds, eliminated his opponent, and knocked off $2,800 from his debt. So, Glenn, you've now earned the right to have us pay off your entire original debt of $8,436 in the round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 of these questions in 60 seconds, your debt of $8,436 will be completely wiped out. Are you ready? I'm ready, Wink. Okay, your category is What a Difference a Day Makes. All of the answers in this category have day in them. Okay? We set your expiration date at 60 seconds. And your time starts now. I'm the actress who played Grace Van Owen on L.A. Law. Pass. I'm the U2 song about a January holiday. Pass. In the Sam Cooke song, I'm the night when he ain't got nobody. Pass. I'm the holiday held the first Monday in September. Labor Day. Yes, I'm the actress who starred in With Six You Get Egg Roll. Pass. I'm the soap opera with the opening like sand through the hourglass. Days of our lives. Yes, I'm the hotel chain with the sun on their sign. Days in. Yes, I'm the colorful alternative band whose debut album was titled Dookie. Green Day. Yes, I'm the Marx Brothers movie about an afternoon at the horse Day track. Day at the races. Yes, I'm the November holiday in honor of Armed Forces Alumni. Veterans Day. Yes, I'm the city in Ohio where the Bosnia Peace Treaty was signed. Pass. I'm the 1973 best foreign film starring Jacqueline Bissett. Pass. I'm the Nathaniel West novel about the dark side of Hollywood. Pass. I'm the holiday celebrated the third Sunday in June. Pass. I'm the full name of the Molly Dodd Show. Pass. I'm the Richard Burton World War II movie about the invasion of Normandy. D-Day. No, I'm the Rolling Stones, sir. Oh, yeah. The Longest Day. Mm, the, longest. the Longest Day was that last Ooh. one. The actress who played Grace Van Owen on L.A. Law, Susan Day. The U2 song about a January holiday, New Year's Day. Sam Cooke sang the song, I'm the Night When He Ain't Got Nobody, Saturday. Another Saturday mm. night, and so forth. I'm the actress who starred in With Six You Get Egg Roll, Doris Day, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. And uh, the best foreign film starring Jacqueline Bissett, Day for Night, Day of the Locust, Nathaniel West novel about the dark side of Hollywood. Father's Day, you missed out on that oh. one. Celebrated the third Sunday in June. In any event, I'm sorry you didn't make it down to zero. However, all is not lost with you, Glenn. In the first two rounds, you reduced your debt by $2,800. That's yours to keep, of course. Unless you decide to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on the show, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was... Star Trek, The Next Generation. So before the show, we put together one question on Star Trek, The Next Generation. And if you can answer this question correctly, we'll double your current total of $2,800. However, if you go for it and miss, you'll be back $8,436 in the hole. You can walk away with what you've won or risk it all. What will he do? We'll be back in a minute to see what Glenn is indeed going to do right after this break. What's he going to do? Billie Jean King, Chanda Rubin, Steffi Graf, three women. The number one player in the world. I could do things that others were really dreaming about. Three stories. Game, set, match, Miss Rubin. I know that I can stay out there and come up with a victory. One thing in common. Billie Jean King invented professional women's sport. You have to win. You have to be number one. Nike presents a passion to play. Tonight at 8 on Lifetime, television for women. Pedigree Little Champions is perfect for my little champions. They like how it tastes, and they're thriving on it. Dr. Christine Dresser, veterinarian and top breeder of champion pugs. Small dogs deserve special food. Digestibility is very important. Pedigree Little Champions comes in a wide variety of flavors, and all the beef in Little Champions has gone through the USDA inspection process. The proteins contained are high quality, and they're the building blocks for good nutrition. They like good food, just like their mom does. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. There's one antiperspirant you can trust when you're extra, extra close. Arid Clear Gel. The one with clear, clean, arid double X protection against wetness and embarrassing odor. Arid Clear Gel. A fresh, clean way to get a little closer. Over the years, we've been led to believe that women only come in one size. Perfect. 
and the pressure to live up to this false ideal has been brutal. Well, it's time to get real. Because the truth is, beautiful women come in all shapes and sizes, which is why chick jeans are proportioned to fit. So you don't have to have a perfect body to get a perfect fit. Abracadabra and Hocus Pocus. What? It's a miracle. Charlie and Itchy are back, and this time they're on a mission to save heaven. Feels great oh. to be back. There's plenty of magic. Wow, that was the best trick I've ever seen. And a lot of laughs, too. <laughs> so join in the fun with All Dogs Go to Heaven 2, now appearing on video from MGM UA Family Entertainment. Buy it for your family today. Let constipation turn you into a monster. Get Colis. It's time for another big money moment on debt. Welcome back to debt, everybody. Time for the decision. You've had some time to think it over. Not much time, but some time, enough time. If you go for this, the question will be worth $5,600. What's it going to be? You want to risk it all or walk away with what you've won so far? Today? What is life without risk? I'll go for it. The man is a player, folks. He's going to roll them dice. Okay, you're going for 5,600 big ones. Your favorite subject in the world of pop culture, Star Trek The Next Generation. you got 10 seconds to give me an answer after I ask the question. Glenn, good luck. As a fledgling young actress, I appeared in the episode Darmok and the Game as Ensign Leffler. You are Ashley Judd. You win! Yeah. Well done, well done. Ashley Judd, who's become quite a star. Whether you walk away with $5,600, that's all the time we have left, everybody. We'll be back next time with three more big spenders like Lynn, and we'll do our best to help get them out of... Yeah. Yes! Wink Martindale, bye-bye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by McCulloch's assortment of sturdy, efficient lawn, yard, and home products. Designed for easy handling and to make swift work of your chores. High-performance, quality-engineered products from McCulloch. Enjoy the giant sound of Washburn's natural wood acoustic guitar with solid spruce top and mahogany back and sides. Washburn, what a great guitar should be. Since 1903, After Six has been the premier name in men's formal wear. To look their best, more and more stars choose After Six. It's what to be in when you're out. Coming up, it's the battle of the talk show hosts as Regis Philbin guest stars on Hope and Gloria next. Tonight at 9, Peter Riegert's just a simple shopkeeper. But could he be her match made in heaven? Amy Irving stars in the charming comedy Crossing Delancey on the Lifetime Evening Movie.